Hi, this is uh, Lasse from Denmark. Uh, I have created a, a plugin for making A-B testing for WordPress easy and simple to do. I want to uh, make a, a small presentation so I can show you um, how it works. I'll start by enabling the, the plugin uh, and then go down here to A-B testing. It has now created an experiment uh, that we can try out. Uh, what it does is that it it uh, makes a code that you can insert into your into your uh, posts or pages or widgets, and then it will um, display the variation content from variation one, where it will display content for variation one, or for variation two, where it will display content for variation two. Let's try and insert this um, this code uh, into a post to see if to see it working. Uh, we'll add a new post. This is the content. End of the post. Let's just check it out. New post. You have the the content inserted. Uh, what it does is that when I refresh it now, it has uh, locked the the variation to variation two, so that the user won't see uh, all all sorts of uh, different variations. Uh, so it will lock down um, in this particular session. I can disable this um, by going to the A/B testing and then enable the debug mode. Um, what this does is explained here. When a user first sees a, a variation to an experiment, this variation is locked for the user that. So in this session, she will always see the same variation. If you want to test your experiments without this variation lock taking place, you and only you can enable uh, for you, and then you can enable this debug mode. Also, when entering debug mode, they will disable all tracking for this session. So we'll enter debug mode. Now let's try and refresh. Uh, some couple of times, um, then it it automatically switches between variation one and variation two. It's randomly, so you can't uh, say how when it will show the one and on or the the other. Well, that's um, that's one type. Let's try creating a new experiment. Uh, we have three types currently. It's content, that's what you, you just saw. Then we have the style sheet where it will inject uh, variations into the style sheet of the site and JavaScript where it will inject uh, JavaScript into the main JavaScript of the site. Let's try a style sheet. Uh, my style sheet variation. Um, this experiment is automatically inserted into the style sheet. Let's create a one variation where we make the body color uh, red for the one variation and variation two is where we make it green. Let's check it out. I'll just check that we have debug mode on so we can see it's switching. Yeah, it works. It will automatically switch the, the background colors. Let's try doing the same um, with the JavaScript. Um, here, we can do an alert. Hi. And one alert with hello. Now let's check that out. So it works. So I'll just disable this one because uh, it's pretty annoying. Um, so what do you do if you want to if you want to track a goal? You can see we have uh, variations here and conversion rates. But how do you track a goal? 
Uh, well, in this first version, I have made it possible to add uh, multiple goals, but it only shows goal hits for all the goals at the same time. Maybe in a in a uh, future version, I'll do this so so you can um, so you can uh, see statistics for more goals. But let's just first try and see how to insert the the goal um, code, the goal tracking code. We have uh, three types of goal tracking. The one is where you take this code and insert into your um, into a post or destination page or widget. Uh, this is good if you have a, a goal page that's called uh, "Thanks for your order," for example. Then you can insert the the goal into that page and it will track it there. Another way is that you can put this JavaScript onto links and then you can track. Uh, multiple links, for example, if the user clicks on a link to Google, then you can track that, or if, if they click on another. It's, it's good if you, if you want to uh, test content that, that's not on your site. Uh, or you can insert uh, the, the, the tracking code manually into JavaScript. Let's just try uh, inserting the, the goal into a, into a page. Um, can just add a new page, my goal page, and then um, end of page, publish, and you can see it. It generates no uh, no tracking code here, but if you go back to the to the admin screen, you can see that it has. Uh, has begun tracking the tracking the goals here. So that's it. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy the plugin. Uh, if you want to get it, then you can go to my website. It's lassebunk.dk, and then you can click on plugins, and I will put up a link there.